Let me just give you a handful of commands. First of all, Matthew 26, 41, and watch and pray. That's a wonderful command. Romans 12, 12, rejoice in hope, patient tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. How long do we wait before we begin to pray to our God when he says be instant in prayer? When something is bothering us, when we need communion with our Heavenly Father, he says be instant in prayer, do it right away. And so often we, we wait and we wait and we wait before we actually begin to ask and talk to our Father. Could be because we have a, a, a misunderstanding of our Heavenly Father. You know, when my kids have done something, I want them to come talk to me right away. If they've broken something or, or if they've done something, I want them to come talk to me right away. We can fix this thing together. And we wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. Ephesians 6, 18 says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 says, Pray without ceasing. These are commandments. These aren't options. They're obligations. He says, pray without ceasing. Luke 18, 1, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Now, God is not going to tell us to do something that we cannot do. So there must be a way that we can always be in a constant state of prayer, or else he wouldn't have said it. And I think that a person can be in a constant state of prayer, in their subconscious even, where they are constantly and continually thinking about their Heavenly Father and talking with Him.